We've just woken up on the first full day of the guest season to the dulcet alarm clock of Natty chasing away the peacocks from the terrace. And it's so funny, I'd forgotten that that happens in the guest season. Natty's always chasing them away from the terrace so that it stays lovely for the guests without the peacocks wandering around. Now I know it's truly summer coming. And we are simultaneously really excited and absolutely terrified and running around like headless chickens. I'm still working on admin in the kitchen, but already I have received a frantic call from Philip, who's in Bon Maman, who urgently needs me to take him pliers. You're stranded up there. Morning. <laughs> it's quite funny though. Thank you. Let's see uh, if that will work. So you hammered something into the wrong spot. Is that what happened? I thought I hit the middle of the pallet and I didn't. I'm hoping that this will at least loosen it. All right, I better leave you to it, darling. <laughs> Philip managed to get the wrong nail out and is now putting the right nail in. He's getting the pelmets up because the old curtains are going back temporarily until the upholsterer can get here to do the walls. Uh, I mean, it's good that I'm not scared of heights or anything. <laughs> but you're doing great, darling. You're overcoming your fears. I'm only ruled by fear. Yeah, but be super, super careful. One rescue boyfriend and I haven't even had my tea for the morning yet. Amory has just started preparing something completely new for Marie, which is a raised work surface here. So he's going to have a bit of wood that's higher. And as we never light this, we will keep it. I think it's very important that it stays in place for historic reasons, but it will be more usable as a work surface for Marie. Although the workshop is not 100% done yet, Amory is able to use it, which is great news. How's it going? Yeah, all good. And that's the wood that we're using. Oh, is that oak? Yeah. I'll just give myself a nice clean edge. From there, I can then just mark out all of the little nooks and crannies. Of which there are many and not a single straight line as usual. Yeah, it's, all right. it's not too shabby. It's just something temporary, just to give her a decent height cutting surface. Yeah for the season. And also it gives a more surface area if we use the uh, the old oven. No, I agree. We suddenly gain so much space in the kitchen. Yeah. Uh, amazing. All right, so I'll leave you um, drawing out the shapes and come and see how it's getting on later. Right. See you later. See ya. Bye. And I don't know if you heard it as I went in to see Amory, but if you did, you are right. The fountain is on. Oh, now it is the season at La Land, officially. Unfortunately, there is still orange tape up because there is a small area of the courtyard that needs work doing on it. It was affected in a terrible accident that we had here in October, but the work should be happening next week, so we'll be able to get rid of that barrier. But thank goodness, in the meantime, the sun's come out for the guests and the courtyard is looking itself again, and it has been beautifully weeded. The tulips are waiting to greet everyone. And the ground floor has really come together beautifully. Marie's flowers looking gorgeous. I love the new lights that Amory put in here. And the dining room is a triumph because Philip's put the new Ardmore tablecloth that we brought. In fact, we love it so much in here. The colors are so perfect that we've decided this one won't be for dinners. This one will be on all the time just to be the tablecloth that everyone sees as soon as they arrive. Uh, hello and Marie has lit a beautiful fire. <laughs> it's going to go out any minute now. <laughs> no it won't, it won't. I trust you. It's girl power. Oh well, I don't think so. We'll see. No, no, it's good. You've got that. I can tell. That's going now. That is it. You nailed it. It's been a while since I was a Girl Scout. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to go and see how things are getting on upstairs. Where Philip Jansen is responsible for hoovering every single guest bedroom. But Philip's not working alone. He has a new pet. I mean, I have to say, Lancelot wasn't pulling his weight, was he? <laughs> not when it came to vacuuming. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we are delighted to introduce you to the latest member of the family, yes. the yes. Narwhal Frio X Ultra, or as we call her, Yvette. That's because, as some of you may remember, we've got another one downstairs. He's called Rene. Yeah, and have to add both to the family. From, uh, from Alo Alo, they're both from Alo Alo. So if you know the series, it's sort of a little insight trip. And today, of all days, I feel absolutely blessed that Narwhal have kindly offered to sponsor today's video with this ad and have sent us this magnificent machine just when we need it the most. So whilst that's getting on with the hard work of the afternoon, 
I can have one of Philip's Dutch biscuits. Hope you don't mind, Philip. Of course. They're so good. They're cinnamon. They're delicious. And a cup of tea. And tell you a little bit more about Yvette. This is the first time that we're going to be able to have a robot vacuum upstairs because other robot vacuums tend to make quite a loud noise just when they're sucking all of the dirt from the robot into the base unit. And this one doesn't do that. It has an integrated dust collection system, which all happens in the robot itself. And you only need to empty it about once a month. It has very powerful suction, 8,200 PA of suction power, and it did very well sucking up some sugar that we put out as a little test for it. So now I know that between that and its dirt sense, we can sit here and have a cup of tea, knowing that the whole chateau will be sparkly and fresh. Another thing I love about it is the mop shape, because instead of having circular mops that just spin around and often leave a tiny gap that's not mopped between the two, these are triangular, which means that they sort of overlap with each other. There's no gaps that are unmopped. They exert constant downward pressure, and as well as spinning, they also scrub. It also has the world's first AI dirt sense which you know, is needed in a massive chateau. Basically, it uses AI to work out which areas have stubborn stains and it will keep going over them and washing its mop in between until that area is completely clear. It's also able to locate areas that have been overlooked in the past. Impossible, you may say, there is no overlooked area in the Chateau de la Lande. Turns out there was. Underneath one of the huge old armoires on the upstairs landing, there was this area covered with dust. And not only did our darling robot find that area, it managed to get into that tiny tight space. And that's because it's got tri-laser obstacle avoidance. It has a laser on the top to be able to see higher objects. It's got one at the front to see low-lying obstacles. But in what is an industry exclusive, it also has side lasers, which means it can maneuver itself far better than other vacuums into spaces like that. And the difference was amazing. It was so satisfying seeing it get rid of all that dirt underneath the armoire. And obstacle avoidance is one of the most important things in a chateau. There are so many obstacles here, I was thinking, it's just going to throw itself from the tallest tower. But no, when it got to the huge granite staircase, it saw the stairs, it stopped automatically and found its own pathway. It's been really impressive. If you'd like your own Yvette to clean your house whilst you're having a cup of tea, then click the link in the description box below and search for Narwhal Frio X Ultra on Google and Amazon. And now, whilst Yvette's getting on upstairs, I'm going to go and see how Anne-Marie is getting on in the workshop. Oh, that's really clever. You clamp down. Yeah, I clamp the guide rail down. Usually the uh, rubber strips on them gives off enough friction. Yeah. But unfortunately, as you can see, the worktop when it arrived was a bit more. Yeah, it's a little, little rounded, curved to the top. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. That's not going to hold on without being clamped. No, it's going to slip and slide mm. a little bit. suddenly want to burst into song with the first cut is the deepest but I will spare you that. Now we'll get the big rail. I love seeing how organized you are it makes me happy every time I come in here. That's a whopper chopper. Yeah. How long is that one? 2.5. So I used the um, bevel when I had the laser up. Yeah. So I've got that on the bevel and then I just put it on the angle finder by well, the angle gauge. That's so clever. So we're running at around 20. Okay. 20 degrees. And then you can just put that straight onto that. Yeah. This is a whole other world to me. Papa always used to say, you, did, you chose the most expensive <laughs> uh, trades to go into. Yeah. Bricklayer, bucket. <laughs> not, not just a bucket, but the tools in comparison to like a carpenter or electrician are just extortionate. It's not like it's I've got the tool envy and I just want to get tools. It's just, you know, right tools for the right job. Yeah, but you still totally get tool envy. Oh, 100%. You, you know, you can't. Otherwise, what's the point doing the job if you can't enjoy it? Getting to play with some very funky stuff. What's this bit? It's the multi-tool. Oh. Oh, so that's so you can do small areas to, like... It's just because, um, because the circular saw is circular. It um, doesn't do the corner. Yeah. So I'm going to cut into the corner with the uh, multi-tool just to free up this section here mm. 
in that section. And that's to go around the bit that everyone always asks about. What is that bit in the cooker, the bit that comes up like it's, that, is it? Is it the smoke? It's the smoker, isn't it? Yeah, we think, or maybe a warmer. It's not actually very, very clear. A smoker or a warmer. We don't even know ourselves. I have tried to look it up, but yeah. uh, not sure. But it definitely went against the old chimney. Yeah. Oak has such a distinctive, I love it. Mm. Like a dental drill on acid. How do you know what a dental drill on acid is like? <laughs> Look, we've all got nightmares. <laughs> I thought you were going to say we've all got pasts. <laughs> Very nice. It's not pretty, it's just with the mods tool, but then you clean it up with the uh, chisel. Yeah, you can't quite see the angle on it, but that's really well done. Just so we can get it as tight as possible. Yeah. I've got an upstand here because you want to still see the uh, the hot water tank. Yes, yeah, it's so beautiful. Yeah. yeah. And then what I've done is, so I asked Marie, like, how, because there's it's no point just putting this, the full mm. um, depth to the cooker, because you can't reach. Yeah. Nobody can really reach over. You'd be stretching over, it'd be silly. So we've decided on this is the depth that she wants. That's, that's going to be workable, usable, mm -hmm. workable space. And then there'll be an upstand and then another uh, shelf so that she can put all the, um, the vinaigrettes and all that kind of stuff. Very nice. So and as well, food. So upstand here, upstand there. And I'll do a dwarf upstand going around there. So then when she's cutting and whatnot on the chopping boards on top of this, it won't... And nothing can over. spill. Yes, yeah, so you don't have little edges that things can get lost into. I'm really excited to see it in place. Okay, I'll let you carry on. And see you in a sec. I'm going to go and see check how everything's going inside. See you later. Bye. Chambre Rose is looking lovely. There's Marie's flowers, a mixture of Jean-Baptiste's and the ones from our garden. I love this room. I love this yellow wallpaper. And then here we have Chambre de Roger, <laughs> looking very pretty. And what I love in this room is this really beautiful print of a woman getting out of a bed it looks exactly like this bed. Inside this bed. Chambre de la Tour is looking lovely too. It's got its coffee machine ready. I love this room. Every time I walk into a room, I think it's my favourite room. But I think this actually has been my favourite room for quite a long time. I love the little alcove with the bed in it. We're lucky it's a beautiful day. And Chambre de la Tour was the first bedroom I ever stayed in at Alanto. It always has a special place in my heart. And now we're at Bonne Maman, the room that the Marquise used to live in, which now has the new bed from the Royal Suite of the Bauer Hotel, which looks as though it was made for this space. The colours are so perfect. It really couldn't have been better. I hope that the guests like it. It's good to see everything ready for the season. It's happened. The first guests have arrived. The season has begun. Simone is back. I, have, oh, I can't believe you're already bringing gifts. I'm so happy to see you again. Is this your third year? I think so. Yeah, yeah. I think so. Yeah. Or oh, the fourth, my goodness, yeah. It's uh, not a summer without you, so it's summer yeah, now, properly. It's summer now. This is amazing. And there's some dog treats somewhere in here. He is going to him. love this. Oh, yeah. duck and venison. I think Philip's actually going to be quite jealous of that. Yeah, they're really nice. <laughs> and that's for Molly, so he <gasps> doesn't get <laughs> jealous. Simon's arrived. A whole bag of biscuits. Ooh. This is so exciting. Yeah. There's something for you in here as well, which she said she couldn't resist because she thought it was so hilarious. Measuring cups. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is these cups... So like American cups. Yeah, so. I love baking with cups. It's so much easier and quicker. Well, I, I, no. I, don't. <laughs> <laughs> I like to measure things by weight, but actually I do, because one uh, cup, our cup system is, uh, we've got one broken, missing. So Ooh. this is perfect. So, so maybe we can that, try the flamingo, see if they convert us to the American cup system. I love that. It will go very well in a baking toolbox. <laughs> and then in here... Belgian chocolate flake truffles, chocolate biscuit selection, oh my goodness, custard creams, and this for Molly. <laughs> I think there's some dog treats for Molly in here too. I like it. Oh, this is good. It's to beat you properly. Absolutely. So every time I've been here, you haven't been. Well, I'm here now. Yeah. So you're stuck with me. <laughs> 
What's this? Oh, we got very excited. Very right. excited. And it's got four different squeak areas in it. We just four got back different the areas. Book. Okay. All right. See? Squeak. Oh, yes. This is very popular. Had you seen this? The little time? tails going. The sofa looks really good in here. Much yeah, better, right? I love it. Oh, 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 it's very precious. So precious it's being taken to his own little spot, which is quite often under a coffee yeah. table because he knows that none of us can walk under there. Do you remember this beautiful fabric? I think Andy brought it. Yes, I yes, I remember. And then we went to get the rest of it because she told me there was yes. more of it. Look how good it looks with the sofa. That's stunning, though, honestly, Nothing can be as good as your squirrel cushion. <laughs> Thank you. That was a gift, and I it's turned it so into good. a cushion. Put them all back. Always, always work that always squeak out. Definitely found one of them. I love the pheasant. It's so good, isn't it? It's so nice. This is the life: a Jaffa cake, a cup of tea, and the gentle squeak of a pheasant in the background. <laughs> Nothing encapsulates Philip's study more than a hedgehog in a silver salver. <laughs> I usually have like sweets in here. I love this one. Butlers do it on dining tables. <laughs> I got you that one. <laughs> well done, guys. Seriously impressive day. And everyone's happy and everyone's settled. It's been amazing. How's it going with the thing for tomorrow? Good. Yeah? Good. Excellent. Good. All righty. Triple cooked oh, chips. Dig in. Oh, you don't need to tell me twice. Life is good. You did say medium rare, didn't you? I did. Okay, well, please show me if it's uh, oh, not. Let's, let's try. <laughs> let's try it again. Mm. It's pink in the middle, Marie. You nailed it. Yes. There is a chance that your thrice cooked chips are the best I've ever had. <laughs> so they're amazing, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Oh, I mean, Amory didn't like it, but other than that. <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't serve any. No, no. <laughs> no. Natty gave me this. <laughs> that's, that's all you're allowed. Mm.